Saddam Hussein has a totalitarian conception of power. Being a despot, he uses all the means he has at his disposal to reach his goal. Popularity, exaggerated patriotism, and police terror. Nevertheless, the population of Baghdad seems to lead a normal life. In spite of the hardships a 12-year-long embargo and a non-existent democracy have imposed on them. Songs in praise of Saddam Hussein's glory can be heard in all public places. They punctuate the Iraqis' everyday life. The master of Baghdad has been governing the country with an iron hand for the past 30 years, miraculously escaping all the numerous plots hatched against him. He was an orphan and from a very young age showed a rebellious personality as he was ill-treated by his stepfather his mother's second husband, an uncouth and rough character. It was the beginning of modern Iraq, whose population formed an ethnic and religious mosaic of over 10 million inhabitants. This was the beginning of a heroic episode of Saddam Hussein's life. Indeed, 25 years later, when Saddam Hussein launched his major school project, this episode was related in the comic strip written by propaganda services for school children. The young Saddam ran away from home and took refuge at some cousin's house. They gave him a gun to continue his journey, as the region was most unsafe. Saddam had just one thing in mind, to find refuge at his maternal uncle's home, Kaharala Tulfa, a nationalist officer. Saddam courageously and determinedly launched into his studies under the severe eye of this man steeped in ideals.